Okay. In today's video, we are going to learn how to set up a Press 1 or Survey campaign in your free voice dialer. In your dialer, you are able to add the ability to dial out and have the customer presented with a question or prompt to which they can respond by pressing a phone or DTMF key before the call is sent to an agent or another destination such as a voicemail, uh, another answering service, you know, a call menu, etc. I will mention though that if you're planning to do this type of campaign, you may have to make sure that you have consent from each person you are calling. Make sure that they're allowing you to do so. This is a FTC regulation there. If you would like more information, go ahead and go to ftc.gov. Let's get right into it then. On the left here, we're going to go ahead and hit campaigns. And I'm going to go ahead and select the campaign I set up for this uh, tutorial here. Test campaign one. I see it's misspelled there, which I will now change. And we're going to go to detail view. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to change the routing extension. It has to be 8373. This will set your campaign to play a message before sending the call to another destination. So 8368 is a normal campaign that will go to, a, to your agents as normal. A373 will play the message and they press 1 depending on what the customer presses it will send it to a different destination and uh, we'll find out in due time how that works anyway actually we're going to find out in a few seconds anyway once we've done that we're going to scroll down we're going to hit submit Okay, so basically we've now set our campaign to act as a survey campaign and the next step is we're going to click survey here at the top and this is uh, the settings for our survey campaign. The first thing we see is the survey first audio file. This is the prompt that plays when your customers pick up the phone. So this is what will prompt them to press 1 if they're interested two if they want to leave a voicemail, three if they want to be DNC'd or sent to the do not call list, etc, etc. So the, uh, to add the prompt we're going to hit audio chooser and we are going to add our prompt here. The next uh, setting is survey DTMF digits. These are the buttons you press to send it to the different destinations. So we type it as one number so this is not 123 as it appears to be it's 123 so 1 if you're interested 2 to leave a message 3 to go to the do not call list or as I like to say to be DNC'd and you can add as many digits as you want yeah, so basically um, the net so basically you can have as many options as you want uh, we have four options here, but you can have uh, you can assign more by sending it to a call menu, as I have here. Anyway, survey not interested digit. This is the sur this is the digit that you press if you don't want to be called or if you are not interested in what we're selling. So I've assigned it to be three in this example. So when they press three, it is uh, this is triggered. The survey not interested status is triggered. So basically, when I press three as a customer, my call will be dispositioned as do not call, and I as a customer will not be called again. If I press one, it will go to an agent as I've as I've delineated here in survey method. So we can send it to an extension, which will send it to an outside destination. We can send it to a call menu if we want more options than the four that we can put the, that we can assign here. We can have it hang up, uh, which is counterintuitive if they press one if they're interested. We can send it to a voicemail, uh, which I have uh, delineated for option two, as we'll see in a minute. So um, I have it set to agent transfer. Basically, when they press one, they'll go to an agent, so that so that agent can just do a, a little sales pitch for me and see if he can kind of convert that that lead into a sale 
Moving on. So when they press 2, I want it to play the voicemail greeting. And uh, if they press 3, I want it to be DNC. So third extension, I'm going to set that to the voicemail box 101. And uh, basically, as I said, we can set a call menu. It's not set the call menu, so this this uh, setting will not have any effect. I could record the recording, or rather, I could record the survey if I want to. I'm gonna, so I'm just gonna leave that set to no for the time being, and I'm gonna hit submit. And that is, uh, those are that's how we set our survey campaign within the dialer. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, send calls out automatically without having someone logged in. We can do that by setting up remote agents. And uh, basically what a remote agent is, it's a non-human agent that automatically sends out calls. This is tailor-made for your survey campaigns where we're just sending a message out and we don't need to have that initial contact with the customer. We want, we want to gauge their interest, so to speak, before before we get them in front of a live person so you know hey your student loans are overdue here we can help you press one if you want to if you want that help that sort of thing anyway let's set up some remote agents we're going to go to add remote agents here on the left and we're going to have the user id start field so basically we're going to start at extension 105 and we're going to have five agents so it's going to start at 105 and it's going to go 106 107 108 109 110 that sort of thing and those five will be remote agents and they'll be sending out calls automatically so external extension is the number that it's forward to so basically this is uh when they press one it'll be forwarded that sort of thing and this is the end group to which it is attached if the if the call does need to be forwarded which in this case it won't be it'll actually go to an agent as i've set in the survey campaign set the status to active and then scroll down and hit submit okay so we have our five agents they are active and we can see them in action by going to reports and real-time main and these five uh, agents will be sending calls out to whatever list is assigned to that campaign and that is how you set up a survey campaign within your free voice dialer